Hi, this is Lou from YA Strength, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing an intermittent fasting app called Fastic. Fastic is currently my go-to mobile intermittent fasting application. And by that, I mean I've been using it every single day since I've downloaded it. Oh, and by the way, this is not a sponsored video or paid promotion of any kind. My channel simply is not big enough for that yet. So help me grow. Show love, like, subscribe, and continue watching as I tell you more about Fastic. Now, for those of you watching this video several years into the future, it is currently December of 2020. And as of right now, Fastic is a fairly new app. It was founded by Philip Wayman and Sebastian Weck back in April of 2019. And according to their website, they put 25 years of fasting knowledge and over 20,000 success stories into this fasting app. The company is dedicated to putting intermittent fasting at the heart of healthy lifestyles, and their team brings fasting to the world in a simple and accessible way. Their vision is to bring healthy fasting to everyone, and their mission is to fascinate people to live a healthy life. Okay, enough about the company. Let's talk about the Fastic app. The Fastic app is very intuitive and easy to use. Most importantly, it helps you track your fasting. And for those of you that live the intermittent fasting lifestyle, or even if you're new to intermittent fasting, it can be a hassle at times to keep track of your fasting, like meaning when you started and when you last had your last meal. And if you're like me, you really want to remember exactly when you had your last meal, or you want to every once in a while check in to see, okay, how long have you been fasting? You might actually enjoy checking to see how long you've been fasting and how much time you have left to go. At least I do. Now, what I really like about this app is that it also educates you and teaches you about intermittent fasting. So this is very good for people who are new to fasting or even if you're experienced, it gives you some informational tidbits that you might not have known with regard to fasting and it can be very useful and insightful. It can help you get up to speed with regard to what the benefits actually are when it comes to fasting. By the way, I did a video about what happens inside your body as you fast hour by hour and I'll post a link to that in the description box below. Check it out if you have interest in that. But back to the Fastic app. It also helps with tracking your overall progress, water intake, your steps, and they even have challenges inside the app to make fasting more exciting for you. The only thing is some of those nicer features that I mentioned about the app come at a cost. They are actually a part of an upgraded version of the app and they call it Fastic Plus. Now let me open this app for you to see. All right, so I've just logged into the Fastic app and this is what you see here on my screen. This is what your screen should look like as well. I use a Android device, so it might look slightly different on a Apple device. So you, you can scroll through and up and down to see the different features. I'm currently on the For You sections of the app where you see different sections of the app for you, including your fasting phase where you can click on that and you can decide to see exactly how long you've been fasting for. So as you can see, I've been fasting for 18 hours or so. My last meal was yesterday at 11.30 p.m. And my goal is to continue um, until personally, actually until uh, probably 7 or 8 p.m. today because I ate horribly the day before. But my current fasting timer is set to be 16.8, but you can scroll through to select your fasting time. So although I'm fasting for longer, my time to fast was set to 16.8. If you click on uh, the 16.8 at the top left corner, where it says 16.8 with a little pen next to it, you can actually see different fasting times. You can set the Fastic app to be on with regard to how you want your personal profile to be. So there's fasting for beginners, 12.12 12 to 13.11. It goes all the way up to 15.9. There's fasting for experts, um, where it's best for all levels. And that's a 16.8, which is the most common form of fasting that most people think of when they think of intermittent fasting. But as you can see, you can set it to the 17.7 all the way up to the 19.5. And then there's the warrior uh, where, it is best, where it says here that it's best for occasions. And there's the 24, um, 21, three, and then of course it goes up to the 23 and one. So it's different fasting windows or um, different fasting times that you could select and let the Fastic app know which is your preferred time. So Fastic did send me a reminder to let me know, hey, you reached your actual window with regard to when you want to stop fasting and begin eating. But I'm just going past that point. So that's why it says my goal here is 3.30. So let's say, for example, I started my fast at 11 p.m. and we'll say 
my goal was to stop fasting at 3 p.m. So it will tell you automatically based on when you start fasting when your 16 hour time limit will occur. So it's very helpful. Um, at the top of your screen, you'll see a few things. One is a star and stars indicate um, exactly the specific days that you fasted more than 12 hours. So you get a star every time you actually fasted for at least 12 hours. Then you also see flames, which is what you'll get when you actually achieve your fasting window consistently. So when you fasted for at least 12 hours consistently, you get an actual flame. And once you get five flames, you get something called a frosty. Um, and frosty is very interesting because it pretty much enables you to use it as a skip or a pass if you decide to not fast for a particular day so it turns it into a game for yourself to make it more interesting and that's why i like this app and also at the far top right you can see exactly how long i've been fasting for um i'm told i've fasted for about you know 1156 hours since i've gotten this app so it's not consistently this is just overall with regard to how long i've been fasting since i've gotten the app when you click on this little book tab here that shows a book it's pretty much lessons so you have daily lessons that you can decide to take advantage of um, if i were to click on this for by example it tells you about hormones specifically and you can see here it's talking about stress as well so you can get your daily education lessons and at the end of it you complete it and you get stars to let you know that you completed your actual lesson you can also track your weight here um, you can actually scroll down and track your different metrics such as how much you've eaten water uh, so this tells you how many cups of water you had for the day. You can also connect to different features such as uh, Google Fit or any metrics that you use. And then you see Plus. There are additional features within the app that you could take advantage of. However, they come at a cost. Uh, so if you click on subscribe to Flaxic Plus, you can upgrade to the Plus version where you see the different features that you get. So you get coaching, you get nutrition, and you get new habits. They all come with the Plus model that you do not get with the basic model. So the basic is just a timer and then there's different features. And what I really like about this app with regard to you know the features you get is that when you click on fast, you can see again how long you've been fasting for. If you click on this little man here, this is where you can kind of educate yourself and you can see exactly what's happening inside your body as you fast. You can see um, at the three hour mark, your blood sugar begins to rise because you just consumed a meal. You can see after about nine hours or so, your blood sugar will drop. Then once you reach between the nine hour to 11 hour mark, your sugar settle down and so forth through the fat burning process, the ketosis and to autophagy. So all that is displayed here within this app. So it enables you to educate yourself as well as you're on your fasting journey. So you can see where you are in the timing of your fast and where you currently are. So me being fasted for about 19 hours or so, I'm currently in autophagy or autophagy has been activated. So this is just an example again of what the app looks like. And then I currently have no fasting buddies, but you have the option to add fasting buddies if you use WhatsApp or Facebook to join the community to get more involved with others who are actually in your fasting gap. It's also a great way if you have spouses or partners that you want to include on your fasting journey or friends um, to kind of keep each other motivated throughout the process. But again, this is a quick overview of what the actual app looks like. Check it out. See if you like it. Um, check out the free version of the app first. Again, I currently use the free version, so I don't actually play for Fastic Plus. But if you'd like to use any of these additional features like uh, Food and Fast, the Challenges, the Academy, FAQs. Well, FAQs is, is actually free, but feel free to click on that and you can see if you want to take advantage of that or not. But either way, you can start off with the free version and just begin by tracking the actual fasting times um, on a daily and you can see what your metrics are and the last thing is the actual metrics i don't really update this since i've started but when i started back in october i was 198 so this is what it looks like here at, at the profile section where you see different details there and different metrics and also recent fast and also your daily water supply which again i don't update but this is something that you could use um, that's just to keep track of and there you go that was my review and overview of the Fastic app. Be sure to comment below and let me know your thoughts or give me some feedback. Also comment below and let me know if you currently use Fastic, have ever used Fastic or plan on using it. As always, thank you for watching. This is Lou from YA Strength. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.